Hi, and welcome to another week where we have uh, On Side SA talking about the Soccer League. And always, we start off with last one standing. And Budge, it's getting interesting. Yeah, two weeks. The two easy weeks, Paul. Man City, Man United. Yeah. This weeks. week, I want to know how many guys will be on Chelsea to beat West Brom. That's the, the, the plum of the week. The plum of I the week. I want to see. You know, we went from 2-1-2 two, one, two yeah. to one forty seven, And just to run through them, you know, Man United, there were 140 odd on Man, 107, sorry, on Man United. They went through, but uh, the, the picks of the week, you've got to go to two people. Yeah. Keith Hughes? Outstanding. Brighton, Bournemouth. He Couldn't... had two choices. He picked Brighton and they won. He picked Bournemouth and they yeah. won. And Gavin Lane? Yeah, I don't know. Gavin was playing golf, so he told me. I don't know. Southampton. And, and he went for Southampton. And I couldn't have them, but they scored two great goals. Yeah, so, so uh, well done to, to those guys. They, they suddenly put themselves higher up the log now because they've utilized unfashionable teams. But well done to them. 147 go through this week. Make sure you get your uh, selections on time. I know yeah. our international pundit, Stevie B. Uh, Stevie sauntered through on Man United. Yeah. Panic stakes at half time, but uh, easy yeah. in the end. Yeah, we, I went through with Man United and, and, and Arsenal. Yeah. Okay, just to, while we're waiting to get Stevie B on the line in, in a chilly UK, we talk about the top four betting. Now, the betting's out for teams around the top four. We like having bets in these type of things. And Budgie, yeah. 1 to 14, Man United. Obviously, it's without Man City. No, yeah, well, Man City are automatic. Yeah, so, so it's three of the next top, five. Yeah, yeah. Three, three of five teams. If you like Man United to get top four, one to 14. Pull your 14 grand out <laughs> and hope to they keep going. Yeah. Mourinho. Liverpool are one to five. So you've got five grand, stick it on to win one more. One to five, Liverpool. Tottenham, six to ten to get in. So they basically look at, on betting, they yeah. think those are the three. Yeah. Now, team in crisis, Chelsea. Nine to ten. They're a good side still. Yeah, a good side. They've played a lot of big teams too, so we'll yeah. see. And uh, Arsenal, five to one. Well, Arsenal's top four hopes rely on this week. If they can beat Spurs, they're yeah. back in it. If not, well, they're gone. Correct. So that's, that's very interesting. You guys yeah. want to bet. Now, Now the relegation betting is always good. Three go. Yeah. So of the three teams that go out, you've got to try and select team that will go down. Huddersfield, one to two, five to ten. Certainties. What's your gut? Certainty. Well, five to two a couple of weeks ago, but... You say yeah. they're gone. Gone. Don't, so let's ask you that goals. question again. You say they're gone. Gone and forgotten. This gone. is their chance this week. They don't win this week. Who they got? They've got uh, Bournemouth at home. Great game. West Brom, 6 to 10, because they, they're trailing. Mm -hmm. Swansea have got themselves into yeah, 6 to 5. A couple of serious five, injuries, to... though. Leroy Fur and Boney out. Yeah. But uh, showing a lot of heart. Yeah, okay, 12 to 10. 15 to 10, Stoke with the new boy in charge. Yeah, I just think they've got players. You'd think they'd get out of it, but a big game for them this week. They're home to Brighton. Newcastle, 2 to 1. Well, that's the, the value, you know. Yeah, you just, yeah. you never know. And Brighton, Brighton are playing yeah, well. they signed two strikers. 3 to 1. Yeah, I wouldn't take Brighton. I thought I they were take, good things yeah, earlier on, Brighton. but the signings. Next manager to leave. Now, this is where, uh, any joy getting Stevie B? With... We were they're just trying Stevie B for us because he's been on the button talking about managers to leave. And uh, him and Budge touched on uh, Antonio Conte. Just yeah. before we get Steve in the line, let's just talk about uh, the talk in the radio shows over mm. there that he's going to go. Paul, you can always see managers that want to go and don't want to go. Yes. The way he's been talking out loud about the signings, mm. he's had enough. Well, okay, while we wait for Stevie B, I want to try and pull out... His signings. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, Chelsea signings. Yeah, we talked Chelsea, yeah. and uh, correct, that's, that's the accurate part. Chelsea signing. Uh, Antonio Conte, bear in mind, he's got a league winner's won trophy league in his cupboard. Year. He won yeah. the league last year, and the man has to tap dance. It's, it's all wrong. Uh, he's favourite to be the next manager if I to get back to that. In 15 years, they've had 10 different ten coaches. 10 managers, yeah. Uh, Mourinho twice, but uh, it's shocking. You know, I don't believe the managers control that club. At Chelsea, you've At always Chelsea. believed there's a woman yeah, there. There's all the woman takes over, the Iron Lady, as she's known as. Whatever she says goes. All right, I believe we've got Stevie B on the line. Let's see if our international pundit says. Stevie, are you there? Yep, good morning. Morning. Morning, morning Stevie. Good, good morning. to hear from good you morning. from a chilly uh, UK. I was talking very, to very Joanne. chilly London this morning. Okay, lovely. Something we've got to look forward to. <laughs> lovely. We, we, we've got this part of the show. We've just started. We've done the last one standing. You're still in. Any ideas of who you're going to go for this week? That's a very good question. <laughs> uh, Other <than> Chelsea. <laughs> D don't tip your head, Steve. People are listening. I'm not. No, I'm. 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 I'm, sort of, I'm pondering this one. Okay. And I'm going to. Uh, I'll let Budge know uh, today. Okay. Lovely. Uh, we we we've got to the stage where one of the 
positions that where you've been accurate as your call on who's the next manager to leave and now one to four Antonio Conte what's your take it's a, I mean the, 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 the book is rarely get to get it wrong it's very strange I just don't think he's going to walk so it's going to be up to Chelsea to do something now you know they've obviously got critical games coming up in the next few weeks Barcelona twice Man City away Man United away um, you know, you know, they could easily lose, the way they played at Watford the other night. They could lose all those four games, and I'm not sure that uh, Abramovich and the rest, you know, will actually uh, countenance that, you know, going on any longer. So, mm. uh, but you know, with the money at stake, you just can't see him walking. He's still got 18 months left on a contract worth millions. So, Chelsea are going to have to do something, I think. Uh, but you know, as you say, the book is really getting wrong. Steve, do you think the reason he hasn't gone is because they haven't finalised who's going to take over? That's a possibility. Um, I did read that uh, the favourite is Luis Enrique. Um, he got on record saying that he wants a year out of football um, and would be available in the summer, whether or not they can convince him to come earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, so that's, you know, that's, that seemed to be what uh, some of the pundits here are, uh, are predicting. Yeah, I just can't see how he's going to last till the end of the season. As you said, one, no, Monday I mean, night the, was... The, the, no, the display on, on Monday was just shocking. Um, it's very rare to see a Chelsea team sort of capitulate uh, as they did in, in those last sort of 10 minutes or so after Hazard scored. You thought that maybe they'd sort of undeservedly sort of snatch a point, mm. uh, but Watford just steamrolled at them. And it, you know, yeah. It's almost like they, they were, you know, they said, Gary Gay came out and said, oh, you know, they're disappointed, they're still playing for the manager, but it didn't look like it on the pitch. Yeah, I just think they've got to make a change, even if they get somebody to fill in for a couple of months, because they're not going to yeah, get through. I mean, I'm sure they can. I mean, there's going to be no shortage of uh, candidates who'd be prepared to step in. Uh, yeah. um, Stevie, uh, would you, if I can you just come in here, Stevie. He, he is the current owner of the, the, the Premier League. You know, He won the Premier League last year. Who wants to come in and go into uh, Barcelona twice, Man United and Man City? You know, I, I think the man's got some pride, and I think he's got to realise that if he keeps him in the top four, which is a clear possibility, yeah. he, he gets him Champions League football, that could smooth things over. But with the bookmakers to have one to four is, is very strange. But my, my question yeah, to you is... I mean, there's obviously... Uh, my understanding, again, as well, is that um, the, the previous director of football there, director of operations, was someone called Michael Imanalo, who mm-hmm. left. Now, he was the link between Conte and... Um, Bravo, she's a right hand lady, uh, Marina. The Iron Lady. My understanding is they don't get on, and I think that that you know obviously isn't healthy. So, and you can tell looking at his body language, he's just not very comfortable there at the moment. Yeah. Steve, uh, Budge draw, drew up a list for me because I wouldn't have known these names of of the eight signings this season and. How many do you think are his Budge? And I'd like you to come in here as well. I'm just going to read out the eight first: Marata, Rudiger. Bakayoko, Drinkwater, Zappa Costa, Barkley, Girolo, and Palmieri. Now, but before you get back to Steve, do you think he signed all of those? I think Marata. He wanted Lukaku, but he had to get Marata. And I think Rudiger was his, and I think Zappa Costa was his. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the early ones probably were, but certainly, I mean, things like Barkley, hmm. um, Giroud. And- Giroud, I mean, I can't believe they, they were his signing. Camieri, maybe, mm-hmm. you would have known him from his time in Italy. Yeah. But, uh, I, you know, I think you know, we've all been astounded at some of the names that they were linked with to try and bring in sort of up front. Uh, you know, when I heard that they were seriously linked with Peter Crouch at one point, I just thought that that, that yeah. can't be right. Yeah, Stevie, we're just going back to the managers, uh, the betting for managers to leave, and uh, we've got Antonio Conte, one to four, as we said, but the other three that are in the betting, and as Budges has got for me, Pellegrino, three to one, Benitez, six to one, and no one to leave, 12 to one. Which bet would you take? That's an issue. Well, I mean, Pellegrino, you know, we've been talking about him sort of being favourite for some time. Yeah. Southampton had a big win at West Brom. Yeah, um, saved him. Week, so that's obviously sort of, sort of giving him maybe a stay of execution. Benitez, I, I can't believe, would uh, they would fire Benitez. 
and I think he's one of the sort of few bright things that is, mm. you know, that's sort of happening there. Whether he would walk, and I can't see that either, so I'd be surprised. It is a possibility. I mean, the teams at the bottom are very interesting. I mean, obviously, Swansea looked as if they were dead and buried. They brought in Carlos Carvajal, mm-hmm. and, and he's done exceptionally well. They've had two wins and two draws in the last four games, so um, I don't think they do anything there. Watford, obviously, they did, they've made a change. I mean, most of the teams at the bottom yeah. have made changes, apart from those teams that have come up. Now, whether or not someone like Huddersfield, um, who have now lost sort of several, you know, mm. six in a row, and are really struggling, whether they feel that they've got to do something drastic and replace, replace David Wagner, but you know, the fact that he took them up and they were totally unfancied, you know, mm. wouldn't seem think that would happen so um, you know on form you would think uh, David Wagner should be should be down on that list but yeah. whether or not they would do anything drastic I don't know yeah I also think with Huddersfield if they go down he'll stay so it's pointless firing him paying him a fortune and then getting somebody I think so and I think I think, I think so and I think when you look at their sort of transfers in January they've spent a little bit of money but you know, overall they haven't really splashed mm. splashed out and I think they're being quite sensible because if they do go down they'd certainly with the parachute money and keeping mm. most of the squad intact yeah, come you know, straight they'd back. be very well placed to come straight back up again Steve, just changing tack again. We're going to the, uh, get your opinion here. Uh, we've got the, the Champions League betting, the outright winner. I'm just going to read off the, the teams. Man City 3-1, to one, PSG 5s, Barcelona 11-2, to two, Bayern Munich 11-2, to 8-1 to one, Real Madrid, then 14s Liverpool, Maynard, Juventus, Tottenham going out from there. How do you see it unfolding? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's interesting. I mean, apart from Man City... It's interesting that they've got the other sort of English clubs sort of much sort of further down in the betting, and you know none of those, you know whether it's Liverpool, Man United, you know, top, they're not showing enough consistent form. You would think to uh, to challenge, and you know things like sort of Barcelona sort of winning the La Liga relatively comfortably, Bayern Munich are walking away with the Bundesliga. You know they can almost get to that point where they can start sort of really rotating players and concentrate on the Champions League. Yeah. Man City, if they get sort of deeper into the competition. If they can win the Premier League with, say, half dozen games to spare, they can rotate their squad and keep players fresh for the Champions League. So, uh, you know, I mean, City on their day are playing some sort of fantastic football, but they've been picked back a little bit recently. Mm. Uh, you know, maybe that, that aura when they had all those wins in a row is starting to sort of catch up with them a bit. Yeah. Well, all right, let's just talk about the Championship. It's always great news. Yeah, we'll but, talk about the big game of the weekend. Steve, Brentford, Preston, well, what do you think? Well, I mean, Brentford up to the few weeks ago yeah, no. uh, were the, just behind Fulham in the form table, but they've lost three of the last four. Mm. So I think that's that's quite an interesting game. I mean, Preston, uh, you know, as, as you know, I'm beating them a couple of months away from home, playing mm-hmm. very well uh, on our on our coattails. So I, I think a draw there. I think Preston is definitely worth yeah. uh, a, a draw at Brentford. Okay, your beloved Fulham at Bolton, that won't be easy. And that, that's going to be, I mean, obviously, you, you look at the league table and you'd say, yeah, we should win that, but that's going to be a really tough game. Mm. Bolton played very well against Bristol City, very physical team, Yeah. you know, but determined not to concede or lose, and I think, you know, if you take out their first eight games where they lost them all, yeah. um, you know, their, their form has been quite reasonable, so I think if we were to snatch a win now, it would be, yeah. be hard work. Yeah, Bolton only lost one at nine at home. That was strangely at Burton Albion when we backed them. But uh, what can you do? Bristol City, what's the latest with Sunderland? Do you think they're gone? Well, I mean, their, their performances recently have been, have been really poor. Um, unless they pick up fairly soon, you know, they could find themselves starting to get adrift. Emma Burton, I think, it's not yeah. to uh, find themselves slightly adrift at the bottom. They put in a couple of, couple of really poor performances. You know, they've now, you know, they really weren't able to bring in much in in the way in the transfer uh, window, so I'm not quite sure uh, unless they can find some form from somewhere. I think they're looking like bottom three at the moment. Oof. Derby Norwich, you know, Derby going well? Derby going well, Norwich going going pretty well. Yeah, I know, uh, defensively they sound. Away from home, their their form is quite good. They won at Brentford last time out. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think that's going to be close, I think. I mean, Derby won last week convincingly at home against Brentford, but then Brentford had a player sent off on 21 minutes. So, you know, I think that makes it hard. I would would be at all surprised if Norwich uh, hold Derby. Okay. Middlesbrough, Hull City? Yeah, you can't see beyond the Middlesbrough win there. I mean, Hull without a win in over two months. Uh, sorry, Middlesbrough Reading. Sorry, uh, Steve. Sorry, Middlesbrough Reading. Oh, sorry. Uh, again, so 
sorry, yeah, I mean, you, again, you can't see beyond Middlesbrough Reading having yeah. a shocking run of form, apart from winning at Burton. Um, I haven't won in a couple of months. And I, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough, again, have dropped points recently, but I think they they know they've got to start winning at, winning at home, particularly to get back into that flow of contention. Yeah, and are Wolves a certainty to beat QPR? Yeah, they should do. I mean, they should do. They were very convincing, very strong last week against Sheffield United. QPR don't travel particularly well. I'd be very surprised if, if Wolves don't win that by sort of two or three goals. Yeah, and the big game of the weekend on a serious note, Aston Villa at home to Birmingham on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, again, up until a couple of weeks ago, you would have said Villa all day long, but Birmingham have had a, shown a little bit of form, yeah. won a couple of games. They're not going to want to lose to their uh, their big rivals. I think it's either going to be sort of I think there'll be no more than a goal in it. Either Villa will just pip it, or maybe Birmingham might hold them for a draw. Obviously, all Fulham fans and Preston fans are hoping they do, but yeah. uh, I think it's going to be a very close game. Villa, you know, apart from when they beat Bristol City recently, they had a big win caught Bristol mm-hmm. on a off day. They, they don't win games by more than sort of one goal. Yeah, it's true. Time, so. They beat Burton three two on the weekend. Yeah, I thought it'd be yeah. four five, but. Uh, it's ha- Easy victory in the end, but 3-2 is... All right, all right Stevie, that, uh, that wraps up this week. Uh, looking forward to seeing you soon, and uh, thanks very much for your input. Absolutely. Nice talking to you both. All the best, Stevie. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Champions League, before we go to local, yep. the Champions League uh, coming up next week, Juventus-Tottenham. For That's big on game for you. Tuesday. Yep. Yeah, a massive game. And then uh, Basel, Man City. I think Man City has been yeah. Then Wednesday, Porto, Liverpool. Tough game. You know, Liverpool away from home are always dangerous. But yeah. I was disappointed with the way that. they played against Spurs, especially yeah. in the second half. half yeah. but, uh, Real Madrid, PSG, what a game. That's the cracker well, on Wednesday. Time. Yeah, Real Madrid have got to sh- shut up, put up, do whatever you want. You've got yeah. to get a result. Otherwise, yeah. Zidane and their, their season's over. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Ned Bank, I was watching the results yesterday. Our local yeah. football's hotting up very nicely as well. Uh, Bidvet vs lost to Cape Town City yeah. for the fourth time this year. Yeah. But I watched the highlights. They were stiff. It's yeah. Well, they conceded in the second minute. And then they went header. straight Good down header. and yeah. should have equalised. It just was. It was bucketing. Yeah. You know, it was just one of those games, cup games, Paul. Gavin yeah. must be, I don't know if he slept last night, but uh, didn't deserve to lose. But that's yeah. cup football. Uh, yeah, because he, he's won. Uh, the, the, he won they won the, the Telcom knockout. The Telcom knockout. knockout. So they're Celtic. looking for this because the league yeah. position's not that good. Amazulu, I'm taught to bucks, uh, penalties. One on penalties, yeah. Well, one all down, one all just after half time, in, into extra time, two to extra time, one on penalties. They missed all three, I'm taught to bucks. Amazulu scored all three. Heba Usutu. Heba Usutu. 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 <laughs> Saw Cloud Barker yesterday, yeah. him and Parham, you okay. know, two uh, football men, and uh, had a good chat to them. They're both doing well. Uh, Ubuntu, Cape Town, yeah, against Polokwani. That's an upset. Yeah, Polokwani. 3 2, going. extra time. Yeah. Cape Town. A lot of the games in Cape Town. C- Cup football Bank. worldwide throws uh, up uh, some, these some big These teams have been preparing for weeks. Yes, yes. You know, where yes. you think, ah, it's a nice, easy game. Don't that, work that way in the that, Cup. That's right. It's very important. Now, let's go look at the Premier League fixtures because yeah. there's some great ones. And the opening one is obviously the best. It's a very big game for both of them. In the sense, as you said earlier, Arsenal cannot get worse than yeah. a draw if they want to stay in the hunt for top four. You know, they were impressive in the first 20 minutes against Everton. Everton yes. were diabolical. You yes. know, I thought they'd All do something. The they were shocking. It's not going to happen here. I think Tottenham will win. You know, it should be a cracker. Yeah, it'd be a good game. It's always, you know, a, good it's always a good game at Wembley, 90,000. Should be end to end. But I fancy Both Tottenham. teams like to keep the ball, so yeah. it'll be very good. I, 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 I think Tottenham might shade them, but uh, local derbies, anything happened. Yeah. Now, Everton have to shake it up, uh, around uh, after yeah. last week, Budge. Uh, and Crystal Palace, they oh. fought back. Yeah, they had chances. You know, our man Ben Teke, Mr. Runaway, they had chance after chance. I thought they were the better team against Newcastle. Yes. You know, one all buried a few people, Palace. But you never know with Everton. But at Goodison Park, they like Arsenal at the Emirates. Yeah, yeah they're good. You know, I fancy plenty of goals there, slightly favouring Everton of the two. Stoke, Brighton, call me a draw? Well, it could be for, for Brighton fans. They'd take a yeah. draw tomorrow. Stoke have to win this. Do they? You know, the, the relegation battle, if you can't win at home, especially against teams, they're, they're three points behind Brighton. You know, you know, the next game I'm talking about, Budget, Swansea City and Burnley. Now, yeah. Burnley haven't had a great run, no, they but they're competitive nine. against yeah. any team they're competitive. Now, I can't believe the betting's that way. I, I fancy Burnley win and draw there, Paul. You say Swansea got injuries? Yeah, the centre forward Boney got injured, Leroy Furs out. But yeah, they've got a lot of spirit. They won 8 1 in the cup in midweek. I saw that. Dyer scored. What's he there? Uh, he hasn't scored. They scored two years. Yeah. yeah, they all got but on the uh, sheet. I don't think they'll beat Burnley. No, I shouldn't. West Ham, uh, this season, I haven't enjoyed watching yeah. them. Against Watford, who 
uh, giant killers. Well, Watford, that Delafar, it's amazing playing with a lot of good players. He was at Everton and he went to AC Milan. The last season he was at Barcelona. Yeah, he's played he a good players. A he grabbed two goals. Yeah, he was impressive. Got the penalty. I like Watford, Paul. I can't have West Ham. You know, local derbies, it'll be physical. But I was impressed what I saw with Watford the other day. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's the betting there. Now, let's have a look. Okay. Man City roll on. Can Leicester... You know, if my Reds have been available, you know, they beat them 3-1 there. Is he not going to be available? No, his head's in the clouds. He's not playing. The club obviously want to sell him to get the 80 million, you know, but... Uh, well, they had a playing. chance to sell him. They well, wouldn't they let him go. 50-plus a player. Oh, okay, I see. So they said, no, give so, us 80. So, so Vardy's Lone Ranger. Vardy Lone Ranger up front. I think they'll score Leicester. Steve, Steve touched on... Man City had a couple of hiccups lately, yeah. and not in those words. Well, but they've had a, they gave, gave them three days off. They've had a lot of games with a squad yeah. that they've got. Yeah. yeah. But you've got to fancy Man City, get yeah. back to winning yeah. ways. Yeah. Huddersfield, born and mouth. Well, this is their season in a nutshell, Huddersfield. They don't get a result here. I think they're gone. Bournemouth are favourites. Going eh? well, but you know, just watching Huddersfield against United, they got some bruises. Yeah, they some have. of their tackles were liberties, yeah. but yeah. Uh, <laughs> they'll compete. This is their game. You know? and if Watford do have a failing, it's against teams that battle. Mm. and try and kick lumps out of them because they can play Bournemouth. You saw what they did to Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. They can play, but you've got a they, fancy Bournemouth. They're, they're very good be... on their tight track. They should yeah. have lost to, to uh, Man City. Mm -hmm. 96 minutes they lost. Yeah. Now, now Newcastle at home are going to have to well, really raise their game. They're going to have to have a go. Yeah. Have to I have just a think go. United, slowly but Too surely, Mourinho is getting it right. All the boys about parking the bus, United are disgraceful. They lent the bus to Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> they lent it to Liverpool with the trailer and with the boat. The tra yeah. I think United will win this, Paul. We got to Newcastle. Got to have a go. Just think we should have too much class for Newcastle. It won't be easy, but uh, Liverpool away end. do concede. They well, this is their bogey very team. Good. Yeah. Is that right? Eh? Yeah, they haven't won there. They stuck them out of the League Cup. Yeah, they're a bogey team for Liverpool, but very similar style play. They both play three in the midfield, hard working, greyhounds up front. You never know with Liverpool. Yeah. You know, eight to ten looks a good price, but you ask any Liverpool supporter, they won't be taking it. You know, Southampton now, have only won one in the last sixteen, but that was against uh, West Brom last weekend, and they scored some crackers. That we, Lamina. We heard uh, Steve saying Chelsea have got a hell of a run up, but this yeah. isn't. This doesn't start the hell of a run up. This should be a game they win. Well, it should be. You know, they're playing at home, so there's no excuses to go missing. You know, West Brom. You know, they played great against Liverpool. I disappointed them last week, but Southampton. Lamina scored a thirty-yard thunderbolt, yeah. mm. and they scored a good set-piece corner. Yeah, I think West Brom will make a game of it. They've got I think they got to. They will make a game. They'll be throwing balls in there. Is Cah yeah. Cahill back? Cahill uh, yeah. for uh, Chelsea, yeah. yeah, more than likely. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's the betting on that. Now let's go to the Ned Bank Cup. This, as you say, three-way, ninety minutes. Interesting yeah. bets now. Cape Town All Stars Sundowns. Well, on they're Friday. playing at Athlone. You've got to think Sundowns at six to ten is a bet. It's a fantastic bet, I thought. You know, Cape Town All Stars, Crikey, they're like tenth in the first division. This is six to ten is is, is stealing yeah, money. I couldn't believe when I saw the prices on the track and ball website. You know, Sundowns beat uh, Cape Town City last week in Cape Town. Yeah. So you think six to ten? I know he's going to rotate his squad, so they the newspapers say. But you've got to think six Percy to ten is a gift. Superb play, him and Billiard, good players. Yeah. Uh. Okay, the Swallows. Well, it is Morocco Swallows. They're playing at Dobsonville. Now, yesterday at the race, I spoke to Quinton, who's the manager at Maritzburg. He said they've got five players suspended. Who has? Maritzburg. He said they should still be too good for Swallows. Swallows used to be a very good yeah, team. Yeah, top team in our day. Didn't Gordon have them once? Yeah, stage? Gordon, ran they second ran second. second. They were second. Stiff. Yeah. They, they've in the further at uh, Matsepi League, the six in the league. You know, I just think yeah. Maritzburg. But tight, you know, Paul, you don't get the second goal in these games. Yes, Anything's yeah. possible. I've never heard of female Yeah, they're, they're the top and they uh, run beaten in the um, Pumalanga League. Can they come up? Yeah, they're, they're in their division. Yeah, they, they get to the playoffs. Now, Chip are a funny team, Paul. Away from home, they've won two of eight. They draw a lot of games. If ever there's an upset, I think this could well be it. You know, coming from, going from Port Elizabeth to Pumalanga... You know, I've taken a chance and I double chance Piva Young Stars. They've played 19 league games. They've won 14 and drawn five. Only conceded 12. Whoa, whoa. So they're obviously a good young team. These On the are day... The, we spoke about cup results yeah, coming... Well, you uh, know, tight to bucks. You know, you have a look at uh, the All-Stars against Polokwane or Buntu Cape Town. You just never know. Is that their name? You know, <laughs> okay, so, Orlando uh, Pirates. Well, they got beat 3-0. Remember watching it the other day. Yeah. Ajax had three shots and beat them 3-0 in Cape Town. So you know, they're going to have a full go, Ajax, but you've got to think Pirates at home. Yeah, they draw Pirates. a player, obviously, but uh, they can't score Pirates. 
Okay, what else we got? Well, this is a local derby, Super Eagles and Free State Stars. You know, they're playing in Bethlehem, Global Park, which should, which should suit Free State Stars. But you never know local derbies, Paul. Mm. You know, 8 to 10 looks a good price, but the draw in these games are always a big player in these yeah, Nedbank yeah. Cup games. Room Celtic Super Sport. Well, Super Sport hadn't won in ages, but they beat them 4-2 last week. But, so, uh, you know, the draw's a big player. Blum Celtic, hard to beat. I think it's six of the last seven have ended in draws. So two to one, the draw, I think, mm. looks a A little bit of bet. even money, Kaza yeah, Chiefs. I like Chiefs. I like Chiefs. Arrows, I like Chiefs. You know, Arrows just can't see them doing anything at no, the moment. No, Lewantville are not going to go there. money. Yeah, uh, take the double. Yeah. Six to ten. And even it's money. Even money. There's your double. Ten. Right, soccer six, budge. Yeah, I've turned the field looking for the upset with Peeba Young Stars and Chipper. I've gone Maritzburg win and draw against Swallows. I've thrown the draw in with the Lando Pirates and Ajax Cape Town. I've gone the field in the Bethlehem Derby, Super Eagles, Free State Stars. Now, Atletico are only nine points behind Barcelona. Malaga are bottom. So if, if they can't win this and they've got Costa back, they've got the full squad out, they'll be too good for Malaga. Lagan has played last night in the Copa del Rey. They got beat 2-0 by Sevilla in the semi-final. They've had a busy schedule. Arbor's a good team. I banked them. You could go the other way, maybe banker Maritzburg and throw the draw in with, with Laganas, but I've gone banker Arbor yes. and thrown the draw 2-1-6. I know you may shake your head, but I think Tottenham will destroy Arsenal. I hope you're right. I've gone the field with Everton Palace. I don't trust Everton. I've gone the field with Stoke Brighton. While Stoke have to go for it, they may get caught on the break. I don't see Burnley losing at Swansea or West. Well, sorry, or Watford losing at West Ham. And I think Man City will be too good for Leicester. Two one six. Two one six. Right, the ten. Yeah, the ten. I've changed a little bit this week. I've gone uh, Fulham win and draw at Bolton. Stevie will be pleased. I've gone uh, Preston win and draw at Brentford. You'll I've banked uh, <laughs> Bristol to beat Sunderland. I've gone Derby win and draw against Norwich. I've gone the field with Everton and Crystal Palace. I've gone Stoke win and draw against Brighton. Burnley win and draw at Swansea. Likewise, Watford win and draw at West Ham. And I've banked the last two. Middlesbrough to beat Reading and Man City to beat Leicester. 388. Okay, the 13. The 13 yards. So use your five bankers and eight win and draws. I've banked Man City to beat Leicester. I've gone Everton win and draw against Palace. Stoke City win and draw against Brighton. Burnley win and draw at Swansea. Likewise, Watford win and draw at West Ham. I've gone Fulham win and draw at Bolton. Preston win and draw at Brentford. Second page, I've banked Bristol City to beat Sunderland. I've gone Derby win and draw against Norwich. I've banked Ipswich to beat bottom of the league Burton. Are Burton gone? Well, they're not gone. There's only, I think, five points, but uh, they Matt, are struggling. Matt, yeah, at home, they can't win at home, Paul. Yeah. Uh, Middlesbrough should be too good for Reading. I've thrown the draw in with Nottingham Forest and Hull City, and I've banked Wolves to be QPR 4 and Wolves still up there hunting. Yeah, they're 11 clear. Yeah. Okay, Budge, now the best part of the show for me. Yeah, it's, it took now, a lot of work with all the prices. The seven of them were a lot shorter. So I've gone Man United to beat Newcastle. I've gone Tottenham to beat Arsenal and over two and a half, two and a half total goals. And I've gone over two and a half goals in the Everton Crystal Palace, Chelsea West Brom game, 2 9 to 200. Lovely. The championship, I've gone Wolves to beat QPR by more than one goal. I've gone over two and a half goals in the Ipswich Burton Albion game. And I've gone both teams to score Bolton Fulham and Aston Villa Birmingham. That's, a, that's a local derby. That's a local derby on Sunday, yeah. 3,100 to 200. Okay, the next one. The win and draw, I've gone uh, Burnley win and draw at Swansea. Watford win and draw at West Ham. Leeds win and draw at Sheffield United. They've got a new manager now, Leeds. That's right. As the bad as Chelsea. Eight yeah. months and they tossed the other yeah, boy. They, they come from Barnsley, so I'm sure the Barnsley fans won't be happy about that. I think Preston will get a positive result at Brentford. I've thrown in Peeba Youngstars. They're a good price to get a, a draw at least in the Ned Bank challenge against Chipper United. You think so? Yeah. Okay, think, you know, they've got a great form. Good a form. Great form so, yeah, don't concede many goals. Right, so both teams half, to score. Then, you've yeah. gone a derby to start. You know, that was, it was four and a half to ten. So I thought they were certainties. And uh, when Tottenham Arsenal, Everton Palace... Man City Leicester was so you're the last one. Leicester to get one eh? I think Vardy, you know, he's too clever for those boys. He'll be one over the top and they'll score. Stoke Brighton and uh, Chelsea West Brom. You know, threw in the extra game. I thought, you know, seven to ten Man City Leicester both to score and the odds went up substantially. You know? Yeah. So three thousand seven hundred to two hundred. Okay, then uh, the, uh, the Spanish omelet. Yeah, I've gone Atletico Madrid to beat to beat uh, Malaga. Yep. Yeah. I've gone Arba to beat Espanyol. 
So I'm so, sorry, Celta Vigo to beat Espanyol, Arba to beat Leganes, and it's a Valencia derby. Valencia play Barcelona tonight in the second leg of the Copa tonight. del Rey, Thursday. So this bet is third? No, 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 this is oh, Sunday. Sunday. Valencia, okay. Valencia play Barca tonight. This is a Sunday local derby, Valencia Levante, 13 to 1. So we had a dip at that. College King. And the next I've gone, uh, Man United to beat Newcastle, Wolves to beat QPR, Napoli to beat Lazio, Bayern Munich to beat Skalka. Atletico Madrid to beat Malaga and Celta Vigo to beat Espanyol, 14 to 1, 28 to 200. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Budget looks like a, another very good uh, weekend's football. Because you can see from the, the Premier League that the top and the bottom is critical now for, for both sides of it. And Budge, let's make sure that people get their last well, one Well, they get standing. the WhatsApps shortly. Get the WhatsApp. Get your last one standing. 147 people still in for a trip to the UK to watch your team play. It looks very good, Budge, and uh, Keith Hughes gone favourite. Well, <laughs> there's a couple of boys that have taken less to the first week. Some of them through Bournemouth, so they've still got the big fish to come. Yeah, I think you've got Man City. I think a lot of them will be on Man City if it's available. Majority of them haven't. Yeah. So we'll see. But we'll Chelsea, see. I think, for the guys that have used Man United and Man City, I think Chelsea's there. Chelsea will be the banker. That's right. Well, there we go. And uh, make sure you're on side.